Hey everybody, what's going on? Just back with another video. So it uh, looks like Pierre Polyev, if you follow his Twitter account, you'll see he's uh, he seems like he's on the attack today. But one video I found uh, from him that was just more interesting than usual, uh, it's where he made this post that says, it's put up or shut up time for sellout Jagmeet Singh. Will he vote for the people or for his pension? Will he vote for non-confidence in Justin Trudeau to call a carbon tax election now? Now we all know the answer to that. Yes, but let's just check out this video to see um, how Pierre Paglia was going to go about this. But just before we do, I just I want to remind you guys to please like and subscribe. It does really help grow my channel, and I appreciate every single one of you who do. Also, let me know what you think in the comment section as well. So let's get into this video, and then we'll talk about it after, like usual. Now, Jagmeet Singh, who supported all these policies, in fact pushed for them to happen, says that Justin Trudeau is radioactive. And right before the by-elections, Singh suddenly had a change of heart, or so he said, publishing a video claiming that he was no longer in the costly coalition. Well, let's look at the wording. The costly coalition is called a supply and confidence agreement. So if you're pulling out, you have to vote non-confidence. If you don't, you're still in the agreement. No matter what your video stunt would have everyone else believe. So the question that Jagmeet Singh has been asked 31 times in the last week, and he has refused to answer, is whether he will vote non-confidence to trigger a carbon tax election. Now why is that? Well, let's just inspect the timing here for a second. He did his video two days before voting started in those by-elections, trying to trick people into thinking he was no longer part of the coalition. The by-elections will be held on Monday, after which he can just change his mind and go back to voting to keep Trudeau in power. So I have an announcement and a challenge. I'm announcing that common sense conservatives will put forward a non-confidence motion at the earliest possible opportunity. And I'm asking Jagmeet Singh and the NDP to commit unequivocally before Monday's by-elections. Will they vote non-confidence to bring down the costly coalition and trigger a carbon tax election? Or will Jagmeet Singh sell out Canadians again? Which will it be? It's put up or shut up time for the NDP. Well, first of all, I mean, that was beautiful. I mean, and it's just a perfect thing for Pierre Paul. You have to come out and say, say, hey, look, you've said that you were no longer in this agreement with Justin Trudeau. Okay, great. So as soon as we possibly can, we're going to put forward a motion of non-confidence. And then he'll be able to prove to Canada whether he actually meant it or not. And of course, we all know Jagmeet Singh will vote to keep Trudeau in power. He will not call an election before February. That's when he gets his pension. And then I, I, I'm suspecting, and I've mentioned this before, but for those of you who missed that video, I am suspecting that we do have an election in either April or May of next year. That way, Singh can say, well, you know, I didn't just wait till my pension. This is, well, after I got my pension. And, oh, look at these carbon tax hikes, uh, hikes, and even more Canadians need to go to food banks and all this homelessness and rent's not getting any cheaper and the, the houses aren't getting built fast enough. Now I'm going to call an election. Once his pension is all safe and sound, then he will call it. Now, maybe not as early as I'm thinking. I'm just kind of <laughs> more wishful thinking that hopefully he does call an election soon so that we can you know, get change as quickly as possible. But that being said, we all know Jagmeet Singh will not do it now. He denies that it's not because of his pension. But yet, when the conservatives challenge him to say, hey, listen, you should leave this agreement and actually mean what you say when you say you're going to leave this agreement and vote to have an election instead of holding Canadians hostage. Now, that being said, the bloc just recently formed a new agreement. And I don't think the conservatives and the NDP currently have enough seats uh, to over uh, to um, you know, vote for a vote of non-confidence uh, without the bloc. So if the bloc votes with the liberals, I'm pretty sure they'll have enough se uh, seats to, um, you know, basically keep Trudeau in power. But that being said, Jugmeet Singh, who said that you know, Trudeau's all these bad things, which he's actually right about, I mean, fair enough. He finally got something right for once. 
you know, he can then you know, call an election, vote with Pierre Polyev, and if the Bloc decides to block the agreement by themselves, then we can go after the Bloc. But if Jugmeet Singh continues to vote with Trudeau, which he will, he's going to show once again to every Canadian out there that he is an absolute coward and that he is not for the people. He's for his pension only. That is it. We all know it. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Do you think I'm correct in that we will have an election sooner rather than later, April or May of, of 2025? Or do you think we're going to have to wait a whole nother year to finally get change? I really hope that... Um, I mean, I wish we could have an election tomorrow, really, but that's not going to happen. So let me know what you guys think. I really enjoy with your engagement. And I also really appreciate if you like and subscribe to the channel as it really, really helps grow. Thanks again so much for watching, guys, and I'll be back shortly with a new video.